Well, you know the name in the ring, and now he's fighting it forward to help others get fit. That's right. Welcome, George Foreman the Third, founder of Everybody Fights. Welcome here to CT. Thanks Style, for having George. me. It's a lot of fun. Now you you drove down all the way from Boston. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about your career. How did you get into boxing? Obviously, it's sort of uh, I have in a the hunch family. how he got into boxing. <laughs> right, <laughs> it's, right. It's all in the family with George. You know what? I was about 60 pounds heavier than I am right now, and I wanted to get in shape. I went to prep school. My brother said there was no proof that you were a varsity athlete. They never saw me compete. I was actually just in school around here. Mm -hmm. And they said, if you have one amateur boxing match, we'll give you your respect as an athlete. And I wanted to lose some weight. Mm -hmm. That's how I got into boxing. And then my dad, after about a year, said, why don't you just go pro? And I said, sure. And he said, well, why don't you let me train you? I said, sure. We'll yeah. do how do you say no to that, like, no right? No big deal. Like, oh, yeah, we'll let George Foreman uh, yeah. train you. Did you inherit his strength and any no, of his No, 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 no. I think I got some of his thinking ability. That's why I'm not boxing anymore. <laughs> but I didn't inherit his, his strength. He can still hit harder than I can. Really? Do you, do you guys still spar at all anymore? Like, uh, the last you? time we sparred, he's 66 now. Last time we sparred, he was 61. Wow. Um, and he gave me... He gave me mercy. Really? <laughs> you know? a little run for the money? Yep. Now, uh, now we have a, a picture yeah. of, of George and George here. Yep. He's there got you the nice go. little hat on. Show me how to do it. So, so what was it like training with your dad? You know what? Training with my father was, um, it was one of the more, um, it was one of the greatest experiences of my life because he pushed me way further than I uh, even thought my limits were. Um, he always used to tell me boxing is not about, if you want to win, it's not about the, the technique. It's about do you want to fight? Do you know how to fight? Do you even know what that means? Um, so that's what he, he gave to me that I can use in anything I do. Now, was there ever any confusion in your house? A lot of Georges uh, growing All, up? <laughs> always lots of confusion. There's now eight Georges now, including my nephews. Uh, but we all go by nicknames. Me and my dad have the same nickname, which doesn't help. So uh, we've just become accustomed to it. You're used to it. All right, pretty yeah. good. Let's, let's talk about Fight It Forward. Mm -hmm. that's, that's your whole message. Tell us, uh, break it down for Fight us. It Forward is a message because um, everybody says, what does everybody fight me? And I say, well, what do you fight for? And I'm not a fighter. Yes, you are. Everybody's fighting for one thing, and which is happiness. And so Fight It Forward, we find, is the surest way to make sure that you're happy, making sure that other people experience it, making sure that other people experience freedom, that they feel empowered, that they have fun that they feel like they belong somewhere. Mm -hmm. So our whole business is built around making sure people experience these things because we know as operators, if they experience it, we'll actually get happy by making sure that ha that happens. That's how you build strong relationships. So fighting it forward is, you know, the new thing. If, if someone does a good, something nice for you, you hashtag fight it forward and send a picture and thank them and do ah, something nice for somebody I else. See. That's what this thing is all about. This and is just a place where our community meets up. And you're, you're certainly helping people here fighting it forward at, at your brand new gym. This thing is state of the art. Yeah, yeah. We tried to have the best of everything, but the goal was to make sure people show up. Mm -hmm. And if they show up, the community takes over. Um, they help each other. And, and you kind of talk about this in your new book as well. Tell us about the book. We, we have a photo of the, of the book cover here. Yeah, The Fighting Spirit. I consider it the ultimate motivational memoir because it's simple. Um, it's the sto two stories. Mm -hmm. Mary McAleary, who beat MS, multiple sclerosis, by organic eating. She shares everything she learned from her fight that can help anyone who wants to fight back with how they eat. Me, I was a professional boxer. I, everything I learned as a pro boxer that applies to everyday life, mm -hmm. business, sales, whatever it is, I put it in this book, My Fight Loss. We came together to write it. It's short and simple and the perfect gift book to give anyone that uh, needs a little help in winning their fight. Very nice. We'll have to pick one up yeah. after the show, Teresa. George, yeah. you went to school down this way? Is that what? I went to school in Boston at uh, uh, Faye School, mm -hmm. and uh, I had a sister that went to school in Simsbury. Oh, oh nice. Okay. Yeah, at the Walker. Nice. Very good. Little so, CT connection. Are you guys actually going to box a little bit? I think so. He wants a piece of me. I don't <laughs> yeah. know. I don't know, <laughs> I know right? I don't know if I'd mess with him. might have a little bit of a longer reach there, but I, I'm like, you know. I, All right, let me show I you how to go do it. On. We're going to go okay. bare knuckle. Maybe okay. the, the pregnant girl should get out bare of the way, guys. Bare knuckle right here. <laughs> so okay. the most important thing about boxing is you want to control the distance and control the resources. Okay. So, so these are my resources. Me, that's it. Keep yeah. me at the end of your punch. Okay. If I try to step in, you have to use that to keep me at the keep me keep me at distance. Okay. Okay. That's your jab. Ready? Here right. we go. Ow! Are you wasn't supposed to hit me. <laughs> Look at that. Teresa. He's so strong, huh? Most important uh, rule of boxing: maintain your distance at all time and control the resources. Don't get tired. Make the other guy get tired by making him miss. All right. So okay. you make me miss. Oh, now you've controlled the distance. You've made me miss. I'm tired. Okay. Should I try a little uppercut? Ah. No, no. Oh, all right, yeah. <laughs> you do that yeah. on the shorter guys. All right. Okay. Okay. Can can we put the gloves on? Can we do sure, a little sure. sparring action or something? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, let me glove you up real quick. Push Teresa, you, you sure you don't want to come in for this? Push it down. No, I'll, uh, I'll break it up if I need to. Yeah, okay, because <laughs> it's about to get real here. I'm, I'm giving him a break by wearing the gloves. He's going bare knuckles. So nice you know. of you. <laughs> I, I like to make sure everybody learns boxing because no matter what, when you throw a punch, you feel powerful. All right, so especially women, shoot your left jab, good. Now, when you want to throw power out of that back foot, uh -huh. you got to screw the back foot into the ground like you're trying to okay. go drill, drill for oil, okay? All right, All right. so it'll be the right one. Tell from Texas, right? Uh -huh. And then bring uh -huh. it back. Snatch it back before I know what happens. Good, again. All right, now let's do our basic one, two. Last okay. one, you're going to step in with your jab, step forward with your jab. And, oh, uh, well, he knows what he's doing. Was that too wow. fast? Did, did I catch you off guard there, George? Uh, I don't think I know, he did. I know some <laughs> girls that can punch hard. Quite. George, thanks so much for joining <laughs> us here today. George, great having you Thanks here. for having Good me, guys. Good luck with everything. All right, very good. Coming up.